Welcome, recruit. Even though you are pretty tough, you know what it feels like to be sick, like having a fever or a nasty cough. Your body is constantly under attack from different viruses and bacteria that can make you sick. Let's look at how the body gets infected, what we can do to protect ourselves from getting sick, and how we can fight off infectious diseases. Infectious diseases are caused by viruses and bacteria that enter your body in different ways. Some through physical contact, contaminated food, or through an open wound, and others through the air you breathe. Imagine you are at the Immune Patrol Training Academy. You sit down next to one of the other recruits in the briefing room. You notice he looks a bit pale and is coughing. Although he is starting to feel a bit sick, your fellow recruit has no idea he has measles and has been contagious for a few days already. The problem with measles and other infectious diseases is that you can be infected and infect others even before showing any symptoms of the disease. The measles virus spreads through tiny droplets your fellow recruit sends into the air when he breathes out, talks, sneezes, or coughs. They can spread up to 20 meters and hang in the air for hours. If nobody in the briefing room is immune, almost everyone, including you, will get infected. In a week or two, you would start to notice the first symptoms of measles, like your fellow recruit did, and eventually become so sick that you have to stay in bed. When measles or another infectious disease like polio, COVID-19, or diphtheria keeps spreading from person to person, this is called an outbreak. An outbreak is dangerous because the more people get infected, the more the virus or bacteria has the chance to reach people who cannot fight it off and who may end up in hospital. Some may even die. A big outbreak with thousands of sick people can overload hospitals if they don't have enough doctors or nurses to take care of all the patients, can affect schools if many students or teachers are sick, and can even make shops close if the people working there can't come to work. We need your help to prevent outbreaks and save lives. But first, you'll need to learn more about infectious diseases and how the immune system works and how vaccination can protect you and others from getting sick. Now it's time for your first exercise. Let's get going.